Verse 23, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So this is a prophecy the Lord revealed unto Rebekah. She inquired, the, the, the pregnancy was rough. She wanted to be pregnant, but this was a rough pregnancy. <laughs> she said, Lord, I want to be pregnant, but this is very uncomfortable. What is going on? So the Lord is letting her know, okay, this is what's going on. You got two nations in your womb, two manner of people. <laughs> They're genetically different. They're not the same people. <laughs> they shall be separated from thy bowels. Both of them, they're not, they're not, they're twins. They're both in the same womb, but they're not the same people. They're different. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. So who is the one people that's stronger? That's going to be Esau, even until this day. The scripture says, until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. Even today, these are the times of the Gentiles. Esau is connected to the Japheth Gentiles. <laughs> now, people don't go around calling themselves Esau or Edomites, <laughs> but they know who they are. They're the ruling class today. These are the people that's stronger. These are the people that's ruling the earth today. Esau and, and, and the Japheth Gentiles, they're ruling the earth. They're the stronger people. And the elder shall serve the younger. Now, that's prophecy. That's not going to happen until the Lord Yeshua, Jesus, the Savior, the Messiah of Israel comes back. When he comes back, Edom is going to serve Jacob. That's going to happen. It's a prophecy. All the prophecies in the scripture will come to pass. It will happen. Everything that's happening now, even unto us, is according to prophecy. That's what we don't understand. All the trials and tribulations and suffering that we're going through is prophecy. It was prophesied to happen. That's why we're in the condition and the state that we're in as a people right now. Even in America and all over the world. Why we're the most downtrodden, the most hated people of all the earth because of who we are. Jesus said that we would be despised. <laughs> we would be hated. By all nations. That's how. That's who we are. We're hated by all the nations of the earth. Because of who we are. We're God's chosen people. They know it. And they don't like it. And they mad at us. So they treat us that way because they hate us. But we still want to act like them. And be like them. Because you're 501c3 corporations. Pastors, preachers, and teachers of the Antichrist church system. Having told you who you are. All they tell you is pay your tithe, you're going to be blessed, it's your season. <clears throat> All this stuff about covetousness, traditions of men. They don't tell you about the commandments in the word of God. That's why you're stuck in these religions, Islam and Christianity and Catholicism and Buddhism and Hinduism. All these different religions. <laughs> Jesus is coming back for a people. He's not coming back for a religion. But this prophecy will be fulfilled. It's, it's, it's not fulfilled yet. It's not completely refilled, com, uh, completely fulfilled, and it won't be completely fulfilled until the Lord comes back.